SpaceX has just achieved a milestone that will be remembered as one of the most remarkable engineering accomplishments in human history. They successfully caught the Super Heavy Booster. This is a feat that pushes the boundaries of aerospace engineering and redefines what is possible in space exploration. In today's video, we'll dive into this historic event analyzing the details of the booster-catching attempt, exploring Elon Musk's groundbreaking vision, and discussing the reactions of Elon Musk, the FAA, and NASA to this monumental success. At nearly 400 feet tall, SpaceX's Starship system, comprising Starship 30 and Super Heavy Booster B-12, took flight at sunrise from Boca Chica, Texas, near the Mexican border. The early morning launch followed a familiar path, crossing over the Gulf of Mexico as it soared into the sky. This flight was the latest in a series of Starship tests, many of which ended in destruction either after liftoff or upon re-entry. In fact, the most successful launch prior to this one, in June, had concluded without an explosion, marking significant progress. However, this time, SpaceX's founder and CEO, Elon Musk, raised the stakes considerably. The key difference in this launch was the plan to catch the first stage booster. After about seven minutes into the flight, the Super Heavy booster separated from the Starship at an altitude of 74 kilometers, beginning its descent back toward the launch site. Unlike previous tests where boosters had been lost or splashed down in the ocean, this mission introduced a bold new plan to catch the booster mid-air using the chopsticks. The massive mechanical arms mounted on SpaceX's specially designed launch tower. Initially, the booster was programmed to follow a standard trajectory that would take it over the Gulf of Mexico and ultimately toward a splashdown in the ocean, as had been the case in several earlier tests. This fallback plan was set as a precaution to avoid unnecessary risks, especially considering the complexity of trying to catch such a massive booster with the precision required for a successful landing on the launch tower. However, if all systems were performing perfectly and conditions were optimal, the flight director would manually decide in real time to attempt the booster's catch by the tower's chopsticks arms. This decision was left until the final moments of the booster's descent, as it involved immense risk. Both the booster and the tower had to be in flawless condition, and any instability in either could have resulted in a catastrophic failure. As the mission progressed smoothly, with the booster separation at 74 kilometers going as planned and the systems responding flawlessly, the flight director made the decision to proceed with the catch. The booster's landing burn was initiated with a controlled, staggered ignition of 13 Raptor engines, guiding the massive rocket back toward the launch site with pinpoint precision. The mission's booster catch was a monumental success, demonstrating SpaceX's ability to recover and potentially reuse its massive rocket components drastically reducing the cost and time involved in future space flights. This achievement brings SpaceX closer to its long-term vision of making space travel more sustainable, efficient, and routine. Meanwhile, the Starship second stage continued its journey into orbit, executing a controlled descent into the Indian Ocean, completing another major step towards SpaceX's ultimate goal of full reusability. Elon Musk was quick to confirm the success on X, formerly Twitter, sharing the news with the world. First, he posted, the tower has caught the rocket. Then he shared good morning with a photo of the booster between the chopsticks arms. He also mentioned, if civilization is reasonably stable for the next 30 years, a self-sustaining city of a million plus people will be built on Mars. What an incredible moment that must be for him. Right now, let's talk about the FAA's reaction. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA has been a point of tension in recent years, primarily due to regulatory issues surrounding SpaceX's rapid pace of innovation and testing. SpaceX's ambitious plans for the Starship program, particularly the launches from its Boca Chica, Texas facility, have faced increased scrutiny from the FAA, which is tasked 
with ensuring public safety and environmental compliance for all aerospace operations in the U.S. This tension came to a head after SpaceX's Starship test flight in April 2023, when the first fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy launch ended in an explosion. Following the failure, the FAA grounded further Starship flights. Pending an investigation into the mishap, SpaceX was reportedly frustrated by the regulatory delays, as the company operates on an aggressive testing schedule. Elon Musk has expressed dissatisfaction with the FAA's pace, noting that the current regulatory framework isn't well-suited to SpaceX's iterative, high-speed development process. The FAA, on the other hand, argues that its mandate is to protect public safety, which requires thorough reviews that take time. After the exceptional success of SpaceX's Flight 5 on October 13, 2024, it seems that SpaceX has, at least temporarily, silenced its critics at the FAA. Charles Bohr, a writer and photographer, asked the FAA if any investigation would be required for Flight 5. The FAA replied, The FAA assessed the operations of the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy Flight 5 mission that launched from Boca Chica, Texas, on October 13, 2024. All flight events for both the Starship vehicle and the Super Heavy booster occurred within the scope of planned and authorized activities. This means there is no investigation from the FAA, and that's great news for SpaceX. Also, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson appreciated SpaceX's achievement. He posted, Congratulations to SpaceX on its successful booster catch and fifth Starship flight test today. As we prepare to go back to the moon under Artemis, continued testing will prepare us for the bold missions that lie ahead, including to the South Pole region of the moon and then on to Mars.